both women about two minutes away from going the distance for the first time in a championship. There it is. There it is. There it is. Holly's trying to get right back up. She needs to. Misha hanging on. Holly walking over towards the cage. Oh, this is a dog fight. Misha's got her back. Holly stands up. She's got to be careful. Misha's got her Misha neck. Misha looking to lock it in. Misha looking to choke her out. Whoa. She's got her back. Still has it. She's Misha got it. She's tapping. She's tapping. Hit it. It's all over. Misha needs to go out. Hit the new UFC. Incredible. Look at this. She drags her down. Holly's desperately trying to get up. She hangs on. Drags her to the ground again. This time climbs up on the back. Sinks that hook in. Gets that arm underneath the chin. Holly tries to stand up. When she stands up, Misha sinks that rear naked in. Clamps down on her bicep with everything she had left. Holly tries to flip her over. Misha hangs on, rolls with her, takes her back. Let's watch that again. She sinks it in. She's got the forearm behind the neck. And Holly tries to flip her over, but Misha hangs in there. Gets both hooks in and clamps down on that choke. And Holly Holm goes to sleep. And we have a new women's bantamweight champion of the world. Misha Tate in her 23rd professional fight, wins by rear naked choke for the very first time. Killer corner down there, Misha Tate is hurt. The jump on her, continues to attack the leg and now Tate forced to go to a self-bottom. Holy snap kick! Kempsey kicks Tate in the head and pounces on her! And she wasn't hurt yet. Wow, she be hurt now. That was perfect shin bone to the face. Lift your knee or lift up. She keeps trying to work past that leg. And one of the best defenses I've found here, Pat, is to get behind whoever's head is armbarring you and keep that hip from extending. Right, you gotta stay stacked and yep. keep them crushed down. Keep yep. her weight into the equation, like we were saying. She's blocking her from spinning out with her right leg there, so she can't come out the side and go belly down and take a different angle. And Kenzie can start shaking this out little by little, just shimmying out till the elbow point gets past those hips. Then she's out of trouble. Oh, she's there she's got it. Extending the arm is Misha Tate. Right the Kenzie can still run. She can run to her left. She can turn the She's got to get going. She's, she's got to run. Going. She's got to turn the thumb up and run. Look at that. Trying to get that free with her foot. Doing anything she can. Oh, my goodness. A minute 50 left in the fight. Misha Tate looking for the arm bar here in round three. A back and forth battle in the strike force women's bantamweight division. A sensational scrap between Misha Tate and Julie so Kenzie's thumb is pointed down. She can't, she can't. Uh, oh, she's forced to tap. Misha Tate submits Julie Kenzie via the arm bar, perhaps poetic justice. Yeah. Good strikes, good Big kicks. kick to the head. I tell you what, that you know you feel like you've got him when you land a kick like that and see him drop. You That's, think you've got him, right, yeah, Frank? Yeah, she really dropped. I mean, that was a shot that, that could have put her away. And good on tape for recovering, finding a defensive position where she could recover. Oh, and those are big shots. But she came back, and when she got into arm bar position, she was relentless on it. She refused to let it go, turning under the bottom, turning over the hip, just staying constantly on it, uh, and con continually working that elbow point down so she could put pressure on it. You can see her switching it there, driving the hip into it. Quite a battle of wills there. One person trying to dislocate your elbow, and you're trying to save it. Yeah, and it was too deep here. Kedzie, eventually, you see that thumb goes up. Uh, Tate rolls over, gets the angle on it. This is too much. Yeah, Kedzie made the mistake. She had her palm down and then turned it the other way, which exposed her joint, and uh, Tate was able to finish. Now Tate driving. Kunin into the fence. to the guillotine choke from Kunin. Tate's got a block though. She's driving her right shoulder down, taking the pressure off the choke. And she's crawling around the guard, getting the side mount of Marlos Kunin. 
Launch off the fence and Tate defended it well. They're still in cross side position. Some elbows from the bottom by Kunin. See this time, this round with the takedown, I think Tate's done a better job. Knee on belly for Tate. Trying to, oh, and she goes to the other side. Another side choke. Arm triangle choke. She's got it in there. Kunin trying to block it by grabbing her leg. Just like Tate, Kunin has never been. the finish. Side mount, good control. Look at Misha's head is behind the elbow, behind the arm of Kunin. She slides over into the mount. Then once she's there, she keeps going all the way to the other side. Now the arm's trapped. She's got a figure four. She's got locked, and she's driving that choke. You see Kunin trying to block it a little bit by getting that knee up, but she, Kunin is choking herself with her own arm because of this position. Here's another look, just textbook side choke position, driving that arm across her neck. Tate's arm is choking the other side. A beautiful submission hold. Look now, she didn't keep wrist control. And there's Tate securing another takedown into side control. Side control referee John McCarthy employing them to get to work. Misha had to be careful to drop the forearm across the face. Uh, glancing blow, but again, in strike force, no forearm or elbow strikes to the head of a grounded Here opponent. Here comes the arm triangle. Uh oh Well, has got to be very careful of the hop over. Mount. Did a good job of getting her arm out of there, so the choke's not there now. Got the half guard now with a full mount, and take posturing up. And delivering some ground and pound on Zoila Frosco. Frosco bucking those hips. Needs to explode. Rolling out, almost into an armbar though. And there's Tate going for the armbar. Needs to extend that arm. This could be it. Trump and Tate with the left leg now over the face of Frosco. Is this going to be it? Tate putting the pressure on. Frosco desperately trying to escape. Wow, Frosto is fighting this armbar. Fans on their feet here in Fresno. Final minute. Can Tate finish the fight with the armbar? That is tight. Wow. Hey! Misha Tate records the win via submission. Her fourth win via submission, improving to 9 and 2, and handing Zoila Frosto her first defeat in mixed martial arts. Here you can see when you go for a guillotine from the bottom, as Frosto did, you leave yourself open. If you let your, let your opponent out of the guard and they get to cross sides or half guard, they're able to put their shoulder in your neck and basically choke you with your own shoulder and their shoulder. Frosto did a great job of fighting out of this choke, though. Later on in the round to end the fight, Misha Tate getting the arm bar. And I tell you what, Frosto fought that arm bar for a long time, but it was just too much. Tate's a great grappler and was able to finish with the armbar.